The Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus might not have made it into the hands of the public yet, but we sure have come across a lot of the stock apps from Samsung's latest flagship phones. First, there was the new launcher, then Hello Bixby, and now, the extremely elusive record screen feature has been leaked. It's a useful app that lets you record the screen on Galaxy devices running Android Marshmallow or higher, like the Galaxy S6 or S7. Discovered by Hardik190, the XDA user has also shared a way to add the screen recorder and its settings to your home screen. And thanks to Android Nougat's Quick Settings API, you can even add a toggle that lets you start recording in one tap. Step 1. Download and install record screen. To begin, tap the link below to download the S8 record screen app to your phone. Once you've grabbed the APK, simply launch it, then press install when prompted. Step 2. Install more shortcuts. Next, head to the Google Play Store and download an ad called More Shortcuts. Alternatively, you can install the app using the following link. We'll be using more shortcuts to launch the S8 record screen app, as it doesn't provide an app drawer icon. Step 3. Create a record screen shortcut. Next, open more shortcuts and select activity, then look through the list and expand the record screen entry by tapping it. After that, tap on the settings option found under record screen, then tap on OK on the install shortcut pop up. Then, Repeat this process for the Launcher Activity one under Record Screen. If you don't want both shortcuts to have the same name, use the provided field to change them. The one with the gear icon opens the Screen Recorder's Settings menu, while the other entry launches the Screen Recorder itself. Step 4. Grant Permissions and Configure. After you've added shortcuts for the two Record Screen activities from more shortcuts, open them up one at a time. The settings part of the screen recorder will ask you to grant a pair of permissions, while the actual recording part will have a short info screen which needs to be accepted before the app can be used. Step 5. Try out screen record. When you launch the screen recorder for the first time, you might receive a warning stating that the app can't record with an active overlay. That's a relatively simply fix, just tap go to settings when prompted, then disable all active overlays with the exception of record screen. If you don't see the warning, there's no need to mess with this. Once you've taken care of that, if necessary, simply tap on the shortcut for the second activity to start recording your screen. When you're ready to stop the screen recording, tap the small floating stop button, then the recording will be saved in the pictures folder on your SD card or internal storage partition.